Welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we are going to be subtracting linear expressions using the vertical method and the horizontal method. Here we go. Our question is, we're asked to consider this expression, 7x plus 8, subtract the quantity 3x plus 5. And we're asked which of the following is equivalent to the expression, and you're given four answer choices. So go ahead and pause the video now, Simplify the expression, identify your correct answer, and then come back to check your work. Welcome back. So today we are finding an equivalent expression to this algebraic expression. We have two quantities being subtracted. We call this a linear expression. So I'm going to show you two different methods and then you get to pick the one that's your favorite. I would practice both to make sure you really truly identify the one that works best for you. So because of this subtraction sign, there's a lot of room for error. So we want to pick a strategy that's going to prevent us from making that any errors. So the first method I want to show you is the vertical method. This is my personal favorite, and that's why I'm showing you first, but I will show you another way because everybody's different. So we're going to take this and we're going to stack it, what I call the old fashioned way, how you originally learned to subtract. So we're going to take the value, the first expression in parentheses, 7x plus 8, and we are going to subtract the second expression, 3x plus 5. And when we stack these, we want to make sure that we have like terms. So these both have an x, so their x terms are variable terms, and these are both constants. So we want to make sure when we use the vertical method that we're stacking like terms one on top of the other. Remember, addition is commutative, so I could have reordered this if necessary. Now we're ready to combine like terms, and we're going to be subtracting as we combine. So we're going to subtract 7x and 3x. So remember, when we subtract, our rule is to add the opposite, and we got to do the same thing. We're going to add the opposite of 5 here. So in essence, we're subtracting and we're subtracting. And notice I made note of that on both the variable set of terms and the constant, so I cannot forget. So the common misconception here is students forget to subtract the second, the constants. So 7x subtract 3x, and then 8 subtract 5 is 3, positive 3, and 7 subtract 3x is 4x, and our simplified expression is 4x plus 3, which is equivalent to this given expression. We've combined the like terms. So we can see that that is answer choice C. All right, let's try a second method. We're going to call this one the horizontal method, meaning we don't read, we just keep it written the way it is. And we got to keep in mind that we are subtracting 3x and we're subtracting 5. So we're subtracting both terms inside the parentheses. So we're going to now identify our like terms. Remember, we're doing add the opposite, add the opposite. So we're doing negative 3x and negative 5 when we combine, which is the same as subtracting. So our like terms, our variable terms, are 7x and negative 3x. When we combine those, we're going to get 4x. Then we have our constant terms, 8 and negative 5, and 8 and negative 5 are 3, and that's a positive 3. So we get our equivalent expression that's in simplest form, 4x plus 3, which is answer choice C. So I wonder, which method is your favorite, the vertical or the horizontal? Go ahead and leave a comment to let me know your favorite way of subtracting linear expressions. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon. Have a great day, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.